success keys on the billionaire's uh, mindset uh, masterclass. What do we do here? We learn success. We learn how to create transgenerational wealth. So if you want to be rich, if you don't want to be successful, if you want to be great in life, all you need to do is to start following this lecture. We learn together. We follow up together. And believe you me, your life is going to turn around. So today we are going to be looking at a very important topic. Pride and poverty. How pride destroy or has been destroying the destinies of so many people. All you need to do is to share this program. You tell us your name. You tell us where you are watching from. I'm seeing my brother, King uh, Uche, the advisor, our great musician of Ekalan. You are welcome to this uh, program. Uche, share this program so that our brothers will be able to learn. When they learn, they will be able to destroy this captivity of poverty then everybody will be happy because the enemies we have around us are people who are jealous of our progress, people who are lazy, the other people are struggling, trying to be a better version of themselves. They are busy gossiping because they have nothing doing, because they are envious, because they are not moving forward, because they have it as orientation, that crab mentality, pull him down syndrome. So that is why today we are picking at this very important uh, topic, poverty and pride. Pride and poverty. You cannot be poor and at the same time proud. We see that it's like an ugly person who is also a witch. And a Kenya swa. Osaka many you jonjo you lishigi. Or too bad. If you check why people are going backward, why majority are swimming in the ocean of poverty, pride is a very big factor. How can somebody who know right inside him, he cannot be able to fuel messages? But because of pride, you go and buy messages. You know inside you, you are doing it so that you shock them. How can someone, you come from abroad, you know you don't have enough money. But you will use your last couple to buy big car. Pride. You see many people today, they have legs, they have hands. They have turned to online beggars. Not that they are sick. Not that they are disfigured. But because they cannot walk. They cannot walk. Not that work is not available. Because if government cannot do, give you job, you create job by yourself. Why will somebody... Be so proud that you cannot do a job that will put food to your table. I have missed up with so many people who are rich, so many influential people. And I have come to conclusion that it's even the poor people that are arrogant. It's even the poor people that are proud. It is it's even the poor people that have this nonchalant attitude. Finding every reason to blame everybody except you. 
They say if you are pointing this hand to someone, remember four is pointing to you. Yes, I can see my brother watching from America, our brother Ndoka, Ebite. Ebite, you are welcome to this program. Thanks for being on this program. Please help us to share this program so that even our brothers who are in abroad, they will be able to join this program because knowledge is power. I can see I'm only Juliet. Thanks for being on this program. Odogu Sami, thanks for being on this program. Odema Efain, aka Alue, you are welcome to this program. You cannot be poor and at the same time proud. At least if you want to be proud, come out from poverty first. Every little thing you are, you are saying somebody is insulting you. Every little thing you take it as offense. Because you don't have money. You will always put it because you are poor. What are you doing to change that status quo? What are you doing to change that your status? Even the Bible made us to understand. That when you humble yourself, the Lord will elevate you. Even when you want to teach them, you that have seen more than what they have seen, you are telling the person, he still feels he too know, he knows it all. Yet, the person is swimming in the ocean of ignorance. And that is why the few rich they, they create a boundary. There is so much gap. There is so much boundary between the poor and the rich. The rich will have to secure yourself. They build a boundary. Because I cannot be telling you how to better your life. What you have to do so that your life will be better. Yet, you that someone is trying to draw out of the deep well, you are there claiming that you know it all. If you know it all, why are you in the position that you are? Yes. We should forget about all this emotional blackmail. Where we blackmail the rich. Where we feel the rich are lucky. Where we feel the rich are evil. Most of the people who are suffering or swimming in poverty today are as a result of their decisions. And that decision that has kept them where they are is necessitated by pride. Comrade Prince Emmanuel Okunye, the MD CEO, Prince Paradise Global Concept Limited, PPGC. PPGC is a real estate company that has its office, head office in Ekaland, number 203, Old Lagos Asaba Road, Bojiboji, or Delta State, and branch office in Asaba, Rain Oil Plaza, just opposite uh, Lion House, back of uh, UBA, office uh, 50. Eight at Rain Oil Plaza. We start humbling ourselves. The earlier we start understanding that we must put our pride behind us, that anything likely to put food on our table is a responsibility, is, is something that must be done for us to secure our future. How could somebody you know you don't have investment, but you are using a loan to buy a car. Simply, these decisions are necessitated by pride. And all these decisions are keeping you poor. Because decisions make men. Whatever you decide today, the action you take today, your decisions necessitate your action. 
And your action necessitates your results. Taking decision because of pride inside you, you know this is not the right thing. It's not as if you are making a mistake. Why would somebody be borrowing money to go and do the biggest wedding? Knowing fully where you are not, it's not, it wasn't, it doesn't be easy for you. You're already bringing in somebody that is more expensive. And in few months or in less than one year, a child will come in. You know all these things that there is expenses in the future. Yet, you go into borrowing. So that you will please people that don't even care. You want to. So that people will clap for you that you are too much. When you know inside you, you are nothing. Why will a girl be carrying iPhone 13 Pro Max of 700 and something thousand. When she knows she doesn't even want 50,000. Those are the decisions that keep us in perpetual poverty. And until we start revising it, understanding that your decisions determines where you are going to end up. And I'm talking to young girls. You see a young man who wants to marry you. You start pressuring him to do the highest wedding. If you are wise enough, you shouldn't, after a wedding, you go and start paying debt. Who are you impressing? And I'm saying this because this is experiential. I'm not going to tell you that I'm a perfect person. I have made all these mistakes. Yes. Who are you trying to impress? And that is why I'm making this teaching very compulsory. So that those mistakes, I'm lucky to have survived it. Those mistakes I make. That is why I said I am an experiential teacher. Those mistakes I made that made me, I did business for over 20 years. I can't boast of one million. I am using my mistakes so that you will not make the same mistake. So that is why I'm telling you, I am not perfect. Your decisions will determine where you are going to be tomorrow. And I'm telling everyone that cares to listen, start buying land now. That bone street that you are using 450,000 naira to buy, that money can fetch you a land maybe in, in the Tickets Forest. It doesn't matter the location. Because in the next 10 years, that place that is bush will become gold mine, will become millions. This is the planting season, especially to our young ones. A time will come whereby you start reaping it. And those things that your maids were having and they were laughing you, you start buying them in dozens. You need to make sure you are able to lay a very strong financial foundation for yourself and your family. Right. Go ahead before a big fall. Humble yourself. Bring yourself down. And because most of us are not humble, people don't, don't have time arguing with you. When they look at you, that you have pride, pride has eaten you up. They can't, they can't help you. You wonder why are people not helping you. You are not ready to learn. They are not going to force you. You act as if you know it all. If you know it all, why are you in that position, this, the position that you are? You are making decisions to please people who don't even care. Not considering that when it happens, it's all here for you. Nobody is going to. You marry with millions today, borrowed money. If you have enough money, your parents have money. With what I even know now, if I were to, to be from a rich home, and as a, a, a young boy, not yet married, you can't do big wedding for me. I will collect that money and use it to do something that will be beneficial to me and my new wife. And after like 10 years, when I build my capital, I can decide now today that I want to do 10 or 20 years uh, marriage uh, anniversary. You can do anything, key as many cowards, because you have the money.
You have enough. Your decisions today will determine where you are going to be tomorrow. Stop impressing people because of your pride. Most of the decisions we make are as a result of pride. What will people say? They hold me. They hold you. Who are you? So, as a young boy, as a young man, humble yourself. So, if you want to be great in life, if you want to be successful, if you want to live a transgenerational